who is the least talented person in the band? Okay, I'm going to say this for the last time. Happy New Year. We're on a dog walk. The only thing we're allowed to do these days. So, say hello to the big man. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Very, very modest. Cheers, mate. He likes my shoes, apparently. I thought I was a bit old for them, if I'm truthfully honest, but we're rocking them. Or well, we're certainly trying to, anyway. Should we go for a walk? Let's do it. Let's do it. So where are we walking today, Warren? What's the place called again? Uh, Raymill Island. R who, sorry? Raymill Island. Raymill Island is where we're going. So we're in like the watery section part of Maidenhead, which is quite nice and equally quite cold as well. So we walked this like, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Is it two weeks ago? A bit less than that. And all of this, all of this was completely raised to the top. You couldn't see anything. And it was literally coming over the sides and it was going down that way like crazy. It's just unbelievable. So, so yeah, I thought we'd just uh, take you on a bit of a hangout. We're going to go for a little bit of a wander. Maybe get a caffeinated beverage or two. Maybe a, maybe a Kit Kat if I feel so inclined. But you know, I'm like uh, losing this uh, undercarriage that I've been... Uh... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting cold, isn't it? I definitely didn't think this through. <laughs> it's alright, this is where this is where coffee comes into its own, I think. So that's a cool tree. There is definitely significant police presence around people. Are you exercising? If they could feel the weight of this camera they would definitely know that this is classed as exercise because this thing is a heavy bitch. That's for sure. How much are you missing music right now? Are you drumming at home? Are you doing your homework? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah eight, nine, just eight, nine hours a day. Whew, it's nice to be out, but oh my. Days is it cold? Unbelievable. Oh. Anyway, how's everyone doing? So, yes, it is lockdown 3.0. They say that sequels are never good, especially the second sequels, but here we are nonetheless. So, the vlog is going to be very much lots of walking, lots of talking, and uh, lots of getting on Warren's back about his timing when he's drumming. No, not having to go on oh, that one. You saying you wouldn't come and rescue me? Come on, man, you come and rescue me if I fell in, right? Oh. <laughs> How you been spending your time, my man? What have you been doing? YouTube. Yeah. Sleep, eat, sleep. YouTube. YouTube. Sleep, eat, the, sleep. The viewers, the viewers will be pleased. <laughs> What's the first thing you're gonna do Long when we get out of this? <laughs> Priorities 101. You wouldn't get that from a Miguel Lopez or a Pete Rodriguez <laughs> or a Steve Band. What's his surname? Lewis. It's Lewis, is it? Sorry, Steve. Steve. What's his, what's his, what's his, Steve. He, what's his? I think he does a bit of singing. I'm, okay. I'm, not, I'm not too sure. Warren's <laughs> a bit strange, isn't it, Terry? A little bit strange. I prefer to think of it as a unique Warren. It's almost T. T. T R E E Y tree woods. Tree woods. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's, it's slight, but it's there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, there we go. We it's found a squirrel. Field. Yeah? You want to be on the vlog? Anything to say? Yeah. Man, I wish I could hang upside down like that. So cool. <laughs> Squirrel life, mate. That's what we need. We need to be living up trees. We need to be living up trees, mate. That's how we. Uh, that's how we're going to be doing this. This is a. It's like a tree that. Tree of remembrance. Oh wow. 
So this is a special memorial tree of um, basically babies that died too soon. It's very sad. It's very touching though. Beautiful. Yeah, really nice. So, no, a flat white maybe. Latte or latte? Latte. Is that, are you a latte or a latte? I'm a latte. Latte, 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 yeah, latte, latte or latte, isn't it? I think it's a lot latte, isn't it? Is he? Yeah. yeah. What's next for nocturnal remission? Where, where do we go from here? Um, world domination. That's what my friends <laughs> are. That's what my, well, I think it, I think my pension's built on world domination. <laughs> if we don't get that to you, we're in trouble. I think it's open to anyone right now, isn't it? Yeah. And we're there, look. We're there. Thank you, Uncle Warren. Wait, wait. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably show you on a WhatsApp uh, video call somewhere. So, Warren, are you working on any new music at the moment? Can't talk about that. Is it undisclosed? It's, um... I know there's a lot it's going a super, on. It's a super group. Super group, wow, there we go. Super um, group or super music? <laughs> super, uh, super groupies. Uh, super group. So, let's get back to question time with Warren. Warren, what is the most complex piece of music as a drummer you've learned? Um, complex would probably be something down the rush route, yeah. uh, but I don't enjoy any of that stuff. Really? So yeah, Skunk and Nancy, Selling Jesus, quite like that. How long did that take? 15 minutes. <laughs> oh come on, there must have been like a piece of music that you worked on for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and months like to get never, absolutely bang on. I've never worked on anything in my life, Gary. <laughs> um, <laughs> only play the ones I can play. You've done a lot of the band vlog right now. <laughs> Question time with Warren's over. Forget it. It's done. If I can do the opening <laughs> and the ending, I'll play it. So let's say, I don't know, you're at a gig, a mainstream band, I don't know, let's like, like one of your big heroes, right? Let's say, yeah. or, you know, let's say someone you love with quite complicated drumming, and all of a sudden he beckons me. Yes, beckons you to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Warren Bishop to the stage. Yeah. Don't know what they're going to play. You know the songs, but you don't necessarily know exactly what they're going to play. And yep. anything else? Could you sit in the chair and get it done? Do I get access to the green room after? The <laughs> no, forget all that. Like oh, okay. it's, you're on the stage. Can you can you do it? Let's say it was Led Zeppelin, for instance, and they said, "Right, Warren, this is your chance. We're starting with." Moby Dick. Do you know, I couldn't do it, right? I couldn't do Would it. Would you do it though? Would I? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. yeah. That's the there. difference straight though, isn't there. it? That's just for the photos. Just, the, yeah. just, you know. I remember I went to a punk gig in Bristol with a friend of mine called Steve. Hi Steve, if you're watching. I watch Steve. And um, yeah, it was like a punk, it, like, really not my scene, but it, it, it was cool, it was a cool show. And they, they started off, they had this huge thing, and it, was in, it was in like a church hall or something. And uh, anyway, about halfway through the set, he's like, right, right, and he runs down the middle, and then all of a sudden, they, like, they pick up all the drums and they put the drums in the middle. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. right. And then, like, all, I think all that's the amps and stuff respect. were still on stage, and then literally, like, the whole audience made a circle like around the drummer, and then like the whole gig was like that. It was, it was pretty, it was pretty loose, but it was, uh, it was a cool gig. Man. So that was question time with Mr. Warren Bishop, the drummer of Nocturnal Mission. We will catch you guys in the next one. Say goodbye, Warren. Goodbye, Warren. For another episode of Warren Talks Drums. See you guys later. Peace.